We are going to start our second drawing. It's a bit more complicated than our first drawing and we're going to have to really use the grid a lot more in this one. So start by clicking on start drawing and you will open up your new drawing plane. You might have to pan a little bit to get your drawing a little more centered and possibly even zoom in. So the first thing we're going to do, make sure your grid is on, your snap is on, and your coordinates are up. Then you're going to come up here to the rectangle tool and you're going to select that. Now we're going to have to put our rectangle in very specific place, in very specific coordinates. We want the corner of our rectangle to be at the coordinate 2, 1, which means 2 over on the, ax the x axis and 1 up on the y axis. So I want to select it there. So over 2, up 1 on the axis. So technically it's 4 boxes over and one, up 1. Now if you look down here, you'll see that these are your coordinates. Okay, They tell you where your coordinates are on the grid. So if I have it right there in the corner, see how it says 2.000, comma, 1.0000. So we're not using the z-axis, so don't worry about the third number. So our first corner is going to be 2, 1. Our next spot is going to be 2, 9. So I'm going to follow that coordinates there. See, it's 2, 8, 5, 2, 9. Then I'm going to go over. Oh. OK, 2, 9. Then we want 10. 9. So I'm just going to go over. We want 10, 9. And then select. So this should be your box. Technically it should be 16 of the little boxes tall and 16 wide. And you can zoom in a little bit to get a closer look. So this is what your first part of your drawing should look like is this rectangle. Then we are actually going to draw a rectangle on the inside. And it's going to be five boxes in, five boxes up. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. So your next point will be 4.5 by 3.5. Select that, and it's going to be six tall by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you'll notice it will be at 4.5 by 3.5, and then the top corner will be 7.5 at 6.5. So that's our inner square. Next, we are actually going to take our line tool. And in the center, we're going to just bring it down one point, click Enter. Line tool again. Now, a shortcut for the line tool, if you push L and then Enter, it'll bring up the line tool really quickly. So L, Enter, line tool, select Enter again. So I'm putting four lines in the center so they point inwards. Make sure they're even. Then you're going to get your line tool again, and you're going to go from this point to this point, to that one, to that one, to that one. Click Enter. So now you have a diamond on the inside. So very nice. Next thing we're going to do, do is we're going to draw four small triangles. And what that's going to look like is we're going to take our line tool. We're going to go from this point bring it over. You want it right above the center, up one and down. And you can actually do this all connected. And then click enter. The next thing we're going to do is from each of these points, we're going to go to the end. So I'm going to select the line tool. So L, enter, go there, enter, L, enter, enter, oops. L, enter. Make sure you actually click your mouse. L, enter. That 
that shortcut really makes things go quicker. So once we have that all drawn out, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our line tool again. We're going to come from this top point here, select it. You're going to go over two boxes and down right here. You don't want to go into your design. You want to be one above it. You're going to select that. Then you're going to go to the corner here, select that. You're going to come back down to this corner and go down one. Select, bring that over. This is going to be one from the corner. So if this is the corner, you go one up and over from the corner, back, and right there. So we're getting close to the corners here, but just one off. I'm just double checking. And then enter. And that is our completed second drawing. So we did this one all with lines and two rectangles. Make sure you take a screenshot of this and you save it. I'm going to save this one as CH2, oops, sorry, CH1, because we're still in chapter one, drawing two. And then I'm going to save that. But make sure you take a screenshot and turn it into Google Classroom.